Good morning, everyone. Today is day nine of our novena to the Holy Spirit. Please join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God. You called us to be your holy people. Send your Spirit into our hearts so that we may die to sin and live with you for the glory of the Father. We ask this grace through Jesus our Lord and in communion with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bow down in humility at the power and grandeur of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the Paraclete, our Advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles are performed in Jesus' name. By your love, we are protected from evil. And so we ask with humility and a beggar's heart for your gift of goodness within us. We want to be like your saints in heaven, Holy Spirit. Renew us by your power, with your goodness, that we may bring the good news to the world. Amen. So today we're talking about goodness. And, and I think good is a word that is, is often very overused. You know, you've had a good day. Was it a perfect day? No, it was good. Was it a great day? No, it was good. You know, the food's good at this restaurant down the street. There's a lot that we use the word good for. And I think the word good has lost its meaning because really when we say that God is good, it's not like that good restaurant down the street uh, or a good day. When, when we say that God is good, I mean, he's perfect, right? He's God. And so this gift of goodness, uh, this, this fruit of goodness that we receive from, this Holy, from the Holy Spirit, goodness is really a, an excellence in character. Goodness and love and charity are, are very closely related. You know, uh, St. John Paul II said uh, that true love is willing the good of the other before ourselves. Willing the good of the other. Goodness can be said that, you know, is the action of love. Goodness is, is doing that good placing others before ourselves or placing the needs of others before our needs. Goodness and love are, are so interconnected. And so God calls us to be good. You know, Jesus says, be holy like your father is holy. And, and you could easily replace the word holy with, with good. Be good as your father in heaven is good. And so today we reflect on, on the areas where we're not putting others first. You know, and we look at our intention also when we do put others first. Is, is the intention really self-seeking? Is it for our own benefit that we're, we're being good to others? Is it for uh, the acclaim of others, for, for recognition? You know, is it for, for, is it feeding our pride and ego? Or is it coming from a place of selflessness? Because that's true goodness. That's true goodness. When it comes from a place of selflessness, not for any benefit of our own, but for the true good of the other before our own good. And so today, where are, are you still holding on to your own goodness, your own good before others? Pray that the Holy Spirit will, will enlighten your heart. And then bring that to God. And, and know that he's sending his Holy Spirit into our lives, into our hearts, um, and loosening those those chains of of pride and ego. That God is is a loving Father, and He knows that we can't do it on our own. I mean, true goodness, uh, true goodness, true selflessness is impossible for us, and God knows that. And that's why He sent us the Holy Spirit, because He loves us so much that that. The thought of us falling short of, of what God created us for, and that's to be saints, breaks his heart. And so he sends us the Holy Spirit to give us the grace to, to achieve the impossible, and that's to be a saint, to be holy. And so pray that, join me in prayer, that the Holy Spirit will, will enkindle in our hearts a true spirit of goodness, a true desire to be good. I pray that the Holy Spirit would open our hearts to, uh, to just being aware 
of the areas where where we aren't putting the needs of others before our own. I pray the Holy Spirit would help us to be aware um, of the needs of others. And I pray the Holy Spirit would continue to inflame in your heart uh, a zeal to be holy. Okay? A passion to be a saint. Because anything less is is falling short of what we were made for. But with the Holy Spirit, we can do it. And so, join me in our closing prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that the same Holy Spirit that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God of majesty, you sent the Holy Spirit upon your apostles as they were in prayer. Bless us that we may serve you faithfully and by word and example spread the glory of your name throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Um, I pray that you would have a blessed Pentecost tomorrow, um, that, that the Holy Spirit would move powerfully, uh, that, that God would shower us in, in a, a renewing of the Holy Spirit in our lives, that we would become truly saints, the saints that God created us to be. God bless.